live by myself Talking to the moon Hi guys and welcome back to my channel with your girl Cheeks with another YouTube video So um, welcome back to my channel If you're a returning subscriber, you're really welcome back if you're any subscriber you're welcome back to and uh, i hope you subscribe or oh, please do subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you like the video and don't forget to share it so today's video is going to be about my hair journey my hair journey okay so i've always wanted to do this video i've, I've been i've been trying I've been trying to make this video for a very long time, but I keep postponing it for whatever reason that might be. So I said to make this video before the end of this year. So in case I don't post this video this year, this is December 2021. And uh, this is my hair at the moment. Um, yeah. So um, I'm going to... You know what? Yeah, so like I said earlier, from what I've said earlier, this video is just mostly about my hair journey, my natural hair growth journey for the past one year. And um, yeah. I'm going to be dividing this video into three sessions, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about three different things. Well, Two all about hair, but then this game went to three different. Calm down. Okay, first of all, I'm going to talk about my last hair journey. So, if you know me personally, you know I oh I used to be on my last hair. Or I used to have a last hair, and um, I decided to start growing it sometime in 2018. Not like it wasn't grown, but I was going through some difficulties maybe i will just talk about that video sometime maybe some other time i'll make a particular video about why i decided to cut my hair but um i'll put a picture of what my last hair journey looks like right here or maybe not the journey just what my last hair looked like because i didn't actually document it i just knew my hair was growing and uh i'll show you guys what my hair was like before I decided to cut it. So um sometime in 2020 January, that was when I decided to cut my hair. I actually made a video of me cutting my hair, but I really had so much issues that period of a memory space. So at the end of the day, I deleted the video without even posting it. So um the first part is why I decided to cut my last hair. Um actually um in January 2020 i didn't get to take care of my hair throughout 2019 as i was serving this country and i didn't have the resources to take care of my hair as much as i wanted so in january 2020 my hair was really just um uh, pissing me off a whole lot it kept i don't know it kept having this new growth every single time i was i see the last part was cutting off and um it was just not easy for me to manipulate the hair. It wasn't easy for me to... I need to actually relax the hair very often. It was just very, very annoying. I, I don't think I have any um video of... Okay, I think I had a video of why I was cutting the hair. I'll definitely put it right here. But the hair was really, really um stressful for me at the moment. So I decided to cut my hair. And initially, the reason why I cut my hair wasn't to grow my natural hair. I just wanted to be on you know low cut at the moment um i wanted to just you know chill around with low cuts um dye my hair do a lot of things and then maybe grow back my hair and relax it again so um true so then then came the lockdown in nigeria around march and my hair started growing this was my hair around march april after i cut my hair in january so i grew my hair march april then in june i did um texturizing um jerry coy that's what we all know it as jerry coy i did texturizing jerry coy but i actually wanted to co continue doing my hair that way in that was in june that i did that but 
I couldn't find someone I traveled and I couldn't find someone to maintain the hair over there so because of that reason I went through a whole lot of nonsense on my hair that period you will see the videos I'm putting and finally I decided to just cut my hair very low again and dye it in August no in July actually that was in July this was what my hair looked like when I decided to um cut it and dye it so after I cut my hair and I dyed it, it stopped growing. Literally, it was this length, this particular length for two months. For two months, my hair was this particular length. It wasn't growing. It wasn't doing anything. It was just that way, dyed. And I didn't mind actually because my entire, although that wasn't the color that I wanted, but my entire, I didn't, I didn't care because, <clears throat> sorry. I just wanted to dye my hair. I wanted my hair to be on local dyed and Jericho, you know, all that, all that. I never cared about growing my hair. But in August, I decided um, I didn't want to keep dyeing my hair. I wanted to grow up my hair. And I know from experience that relaxing your hair and you start growing it out, you just look like found yash. But then, I decided to grow my natural hair. Now this has taken me to the second part, which is why I decided to grow my natural hair. So initially my aim was I would grow my natural hair for a year or six months a year and then relax it. But then I met my friend though, my friend that was in natural hair kept talking about no, 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 try growing your hair out natural, she was on natural hair and all that. And I'm like, okay, let me just try it out. And I started growing my hair. So, um, the last time I cut my hair was around August 28th and mind you, my hair still had dye on it so it didn't actually start growing immediately. My hair was still stunted for about a month. I think the first time I noticed hair growth on my hair was sometime around ending of September, October because of the hair dye and I was definitely putting pictures to just show you what I'm talking about. then i started growing my hair and um this is my hair out of december 2021 and i'll show you what my hair looked like as of december 2020. so initially my hair wasn't even growing so much it was just all oh, day i wasn't really doing much i know i tried doing a couple of um hair videos back then i tried thank you my hair but i wasn't just consistent i was just very very shaky at the moment then um january february march i was still very shaky april may june okay i'll show you guys a video of my hair in june this was a video of my hair in june and in june was when i decided to start taking care of my hair so i okay now this is the last part <laughs> this is the third part which is my natural hair journey so i'll be showing you guys my hair from august this was my hair in august and this was my hair in september it was my hair in december it was my hair in january in february in may <clears throat> and i i wasn't really taking a picture to you know document the growth in like specifically but at the end of the day i'm glad i took all those pictures because i really thought my hair wasn't growing at all so in june and just in the month of june and july my hair really grew a whole lot i um straight okay so i'm just going to talk about the things that i did um basically like on the surface of what i did to grow my hair so i decided to be more um cautious about my hair so um i was talking about just five things i did to grow my hair within six months yeah because i'll just say within june and december within six months i grew my hair from that to this and the first thing i know i did was i never washed my hair anymore without it being on cornrows i noticed that whenever i wash my hair um outside cornrows it will actually break out a whole lot i don't know if i wasn't just paying attention to it but i don't cornrows because it's too short to um divide it separately because it's too short to divide it separately you know so i instead of trying to divide my hair into maybe four different parts eight different parts and they'll be all you know puffed up i always wash my hair cornrows 
that way it was much easier for me but when i'm done washing my hair and i want to loosen up my hair it's it won't have much breakout then i always leave use a leave-in conditioner i never manipulate my hair without it being wet no matter what i'm doing to my hair i always spray water on it with leave-in conditioner my um one of my spray bottles just contains water leave-in conditioner and oil and um the other thing i stayed in was uh the rice water method um i know a lot of people be like rice water doesn't work for me but it actually did work for me it actually has always worked for me when i even grew my relaxed hair rice water worked for me so the rice water method was something that i used i put rice water in my hair at least two times in a week and um because we eat rice every day in nigeria i mean there's always rice water available for you and then all that thing i used to grow my hair was um aloe vera i don't know if some people say aloe vera doesn't grow their hair but i'll be making specific videos about how i use all these products later on in this in january in 2022 but then i used aloe vera a whole lot and then i got some i did some oils at home and then i had lime oil i had cayenne pepper oil i had um i had um this hair growth oil i'm trying to remember the name i actually bought that one i didn't make that one myself but i also put a picture of it i used it and but i started using it a little bit later on after i noticed the growth on my hair so i said to like get other things to grow my hair and um yeah basically um the other thing that i did was that i always wash my hair every at least once in two weeks if not every other week and um the reason why i did that was because i always put products on my hair either oil or rice water beans water um one thing or the other so i didn't always let all those things build up so after like a week or so when I my hair is getting the thing i always wash my hair i don't to say don't wash your hair for a long time i don't know but it never works for me or i never just allowed it to work for me because i always just wash my hair and the final thing that i did was always be on to always be on protective styles i am always on braids or cornrows i'm always on cornrows let me just say the truth i'm always on cornrows and if i'm not on cornrows i twist my hair and leave it if i'm not my hair is not twisted i am on um braids and i notice a lot of time when i loosen up my hair it actually um i see a whole lot of difference and when i'm on cornrows when i'm on braids it doesn't stop me from treating my hair when i'm on cornrows i basically do every single thing i do to my hair as if it's naked but when i'm on braids i mostly just use um hair growth oils and or use to apply and massage my hair from time to time and uh so far i think um that was this is just a general thing i did about growing my hair and my hair has grown um quite a lot within six months because this wasn't the difference in the first six months in the last six months my hair has grown a whole lot so i i don't know if i used to listen to myself maybe i stayed with my hair in august but i don't know because i literally didn't notice any hair growth through september because of the hair dye so either way my hair is about a yay and um three months a year and three months in total it's about a year and three months and um yeah i don't think there's anything i want to talk about in this video concerning my hair but this is how i've grown my hair and uh, i'm going to make in subsequent videos of every single thing that i use for my hair and yeah before i conclude this i'm going to talk about my hair journey mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. my hair what is it called my hair goes yeah my hair goes my hair goes for 2022 now you see this one i'm posting here <laughs> okay maybe not 2022 but 2023 I need my hair to be this long and I need it to be this full. I want my hair to be very full and my hair to be very long. So I don't think I'm going to be relaxing my hair anytime soon anymore. I think I'm enjoying the natural hair. 
for anyone that knew me in school when i said i was never going to do natural hair ah uh, i kind of changed my mind i changed my mind i changed my mind I can't see my tomorrow though, but for right now I'm changing my mind and I'm deciding to grow my natural hair out to see what the length is going to be like because the journey has been all good. But um, I'm going to end with saying if you're on your last hair, you can actually still grow your hair because I grew my hair on my last hair and it doesn't really matter whether you're on your last or natural fast your hair is healthy. So thank you guys for coming to watch my video. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. I hope to see you guys in my next video next year. Happy New Year. Or if I post this thing in 2022, Happy New Year. Whenever I post this video, just know I did this video at the end, the last week of 2021. And yeah, let's all go ahead together in 2022. So see you guys next year. And bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.